In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize Google Slides to create a photo slideshow with audio and music in the background. Okay, so here you can already see that I have photos loaded. I have 15 photos as well as a title page um, to my photo slideshow. I used Unsplashed to get these images. All right, for you, you might have pictures of things you've done in your classroom or your students that you want to highlight and create some kind of end of the year slideshow. We're not going to go through the process of adding photos because I'm sure you already know how to do that. But what we are going to go through is how to add the audio, make sure that it plays throughout the video, and then publishing that so that when people go to that link that it automatically starts the music and starts the slideshow. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to download my audio because as we know, Google has the insert audio feature. However, it just points us into our Google Drive. So we need to actually download a song first and uh, then put it into our Google Drive and then bring it in. Now, because of copyright purposes, we can't just go to uh, iTunes and download a song and put that in or anything like that. So what we want to do is we want to find copyright free or royalty free music. And here I have a website called bensound.com. This is the one that I use exclusively. And it's got some great song uh, music here. You can see that it's categorized by genre. I'm going to select rock for this one. And here are the ones with the black download button. You can download, you can listen to by just pressing play on these to kind of sample what they sound like. You can also see that they have the timestamp on it, how long it is depending on how long your slideshow is going to be. Um, and you just click and select download. Here, you're going to get this part here because we're not purchasing the pro license. We're just using this for YouTube or Facebook or websites, et cetera, as long as you credit them, which you'll see in the bottom right hand corner of mine. So I'm going to select download here. Okay, then I'm gonna go over to my Google Drive. Here in my Google Drive, I have a folder already called audio. The reason I did this is I made sure that this folder was shared to anybody with the link. You want to make sure that your audio file is shared to anybody with the link because if it's not, even if they have access to the slideshow, they might not have access to the audio, which can uh, pose some problems. They'll get there and they won't hear any music. And if they try to play it, it'll ask, um, for permissions and you'll get tons of emails that so-and-so wants permissions to download this song. So you want to make sure that it's in a folder that's shared to anybody with the link. I'm just going to take this, I'm going to drag this right in. You can see that it's already here. Um, I'm going to keep them separate. So you can see I already have the song downloaded. So now I have two versions of it. I'm going to go back into my slideshow. Okay, and now I'm going to go to insert audio and when it pulls it up right here is my sound file i can choose either one they are the same i'm going to select this and you're going to see now i have the little audio button when i click on that i want to make sure my audio and this is in format options if it closes i want to make sure that it starts automatically i also want to unselect stop on slide change because i want this to play throughout. I can even loop the audio if I want that audio to continue playing as the slideshow continue plays. Okay, so now when I press present, okay, now the slideshow didn't start because I don't have it defaulted to automatically start. All right, so what I want to do now is now that I have my um, audio in there. What I also want to do is go into view and motion and I'm going to put in a slide transition. I really like the dissolve. Okay, you can do gallery and I'm going to select apply to all slides. That way when I go to the next slide it has a nice dissolve feature into it. The final step to make this into a slideshow that repeats. Oh, the other thing is, I should have said this right away, is I want to hide this icon when presenting. Okay, that way it's not in the corner and no one sees it, it's just in the background. I go up here to File, and I publish this to the web. Now I wanna publish it as a link, and you can choose your duration. Every five seconds is a good one for me. 
I'm going to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads, and I'm going to restart the slideshow after the last slide. That way, it just is going to continue to repeat over and over and over again. So if they want to watch this for 10 hours straight, they could, because I loop the audio and I also loop the slides. So I'm going to select Publish. I'm going to publish this. And right here's my link. Now, this is my link that I can give to anybody. So if I go here to a new tab and copy that link, you're going to see my slideshow started right away. And it naturally fades into the next slide. So that's it. I hope that really helps.